Ladies and gentlemen, everyone is mad at Fortnite. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Kiwis bringing you guys another Fortnite Battle Royale video. And today, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, everyone is mad at Fortnite again. Wow, what a surprise. Everyone gets pissed off at Fortnite every week or every weekend. Whenever there's some sort of a tournament or there's something <laughs> going on, it just causes the whole entire pro community at least be really upset i mean i know all the casuals get upset sometimes at fortnite too for thinking the game is too sweaty catering to the competitive players and then all the pros think that the game just caters to the casuals and then it's just a vice versa back and forth it's very toxic right um but in this video the competitive players are mad for a different reason and uh i guess we'll get into that in this video so also shout out to these guys for using code kiwis in the item shop if you guys want to be featured in the next video send me a screenshot on twitter of you using my code kiwis appreciate all of you guys for doing that and also if you just drop a like on this video right now you're going to be blessed with a good day tomorrow all right you might as well do it it's free it takes two seconds you just hit the like button so right now there is currently a brand new trend on twitter it even trended for my twitter uh, a lot of people uh, have different like Twitter trends for some reason, but for me, it was trending. So for you, it might've been trending if you follow Fortnite, obviously. Why is this dude checking out my fit, bro? Are you good? But a lot of pros, and I mean a lot, and even some creators too, were tweeting out hashtag fix Fortnite. And I, I feel like this happens a lot. So it's kind of like something that, you know, it, it isn't something too crazy. Uh, the Fortnite community has been known to tweet out these hashtags to try and get things to change such as like the hashtag bring back pump. And then there was a couple of other hashtags like fix Fortnite or Fortnite is dead or, you know, whatever. In hopes that Epic Games would see the trend and the backlash from the community and then eventually change things to the game or try and improve it and make it better. In this case, uh, everybody was tweeting out hashtag fix Fortnite and it actually ended up trending on Twitter because because of the server performance today in the phase cup, there was a phase cup today and uh the performance was just awful and i mean like horrible there's clips all over twitter from multiple different perspectives it's not like one pro had a bad experience it was pretty much every single person had a horrible experience when playing in some of these lobbies and when i say it was unplayable i mean it was genuinely unplayable but if you're like a casual and you're watching this right now and you're probably just like dude i don't care about you know competitive servers the game isn't dead like i don't know why everybody complains about this so much well hear me out all right because this is this is kind of a big deal the reason why this is such a big deal if you're a casual is because you know the reason fortnite is such a popular game right now is because of the people streaming it i mean obviously it has a huge player base a lot of people think it's fun that don't stream the game but having these big giant creators play the game actually brings a lot of hype uh brings a lot of viewership and it makes other players want to sign up and play the game as well you know to try and see what the hype is about you know things like that that's the reason why you know games like minecraft and call of duty have always been going so long is because there's such a big community uh, of streamers and creators and people who make content on the game which basically keeps the game alive right so if all the streamers and content creators and pro players are like basically really upset with the game and its performance in tournaments even if you don't play in them this is kind of a big deal bro i have no mats thank you anyway the reason you want the performance to be good even if you don't play competitive is just so everyone is happy and that there's no complaints and we can keep these competitive streamers on the game you know streaming and having a good time and bringing in that viewership because obviously in the end it makes fortnite do better as a game it keeps the game alive keeps it fresh it's just a good thing if uh the servers perform well and competitive okay because competitive is like one of the big things that keep the game alive at this point so because if you actually take a look at everyone streaming on twitch that plays fortnite it's all like competitive right like obviously some people play normal pubs and stuff which is great and that's good there's nothing wrong with that but it's just like you can see the majority of like the streaming community is more comp based right so this is important right so basically the whole gist of the story is everyone was tweeting out today hashtag rip Fortnite because the performance in the phase cup was horrible people were walking forward not being able to like people weren't able to like rotate the zone they couldn't even walk in a straight line without moving backwards it was pretty bad so basically people weren't able to rotate to zones correctly and people were dying in the storm especially during end game and like i said there's multiple perspectives of, of this it's not like this just happened once this was happening to a lot of teams and it, it honestly like if you actually look at like the history 
of Fortnite scrim performance and uh, Fortnite competitive server performance. I actually looked at this dates all the way back to like 2018 where the servers were literally so bad. Like I, I remember when competitive Fortnite first started becoming a thing and the servers were literally horrible to play for scrims. Like it was, it was unplayable. Like it was just like your, your gun wouldn't shoot. Um, you would be lagging back and forth. You wouldn't be able to build some players that you'd be able to shoot. You wouldn't be able to shoot. Like it was just a mess, right? So for that to still be a problem today, uh, in 2021, especially when Fortnite competitive is so much more established than it ever has been. Uh, you know, that's kind of a problem. A lot of like pro players are like quitting Fortnite and playing Valorant or playing other games that they enjoy streaming, you know, trying to dabble into different games and, uh, you know that it, it kind of sucks to see that like we've already seen tifu leave we've seen ninja leave like all the all the big people we've seen them all leave um there's still some people that play fortnite that are hi huge creators obviously but um you know it's only going to keep going that way until until we see some really consistent um performance from fortnite you know what i mean wow that guy just got clipped 8 HP? Wow. So this trended on Twitter. Uh, it was kind of a big problem. Um, a lot of people were covering it, kind of talking about it. A lot of pro players saying this is the end. And uh, I mean, we've heard all that before. But it's just it's just crazy how this is still a problem. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of disheartening, to be honest. Obviously, Fortnite has been trying really, really hard to figure out this whole entire issue. Uh, you know, it, it dates all the way back to 2018 and they have done a really good job to be honest A lot of people don't realize how much work epic games actually puts into trying to fix the servers and you know Doing what they can to maximize performance. I mean they they even added performance mode You know, they they do everything they can, you know, they run test events all the time Um in like secret discords Sometimes they even do test events publicly and in those test events fortnite usually gathers data to use for further cat for future cash cups to try and make sure that the performance is better. I think the reason why we're seeing the servers be so bad all of a sudden, once again, is because of obviously the brand new season. There's a lot more new mechanics. There's also a bunch of animals running all around the map and stuff, you know, that, that also probably adds to it. A bunch of NPCs. A bunch of like challenges and map changes and stuff a lot of things that haven't yet been optimized for competitive yet so those are all things that need to you know be taken into consideration obviously it's not like <gasps> i'm dead that's awesome anyway this is a huge problem for fortnite because fncs is right around the corner there's some cash cups going on there's a lot of things that fortnite has going on right now that this can't really get in the way of you know what I mean? Like, this is going to be really bad if FNCS is just super laggy. Like, it's going to be bad, right? A lot of people might even quit. Like, the, I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't, know. Like, I'm not going to quit, even though Fortnite sometimes makes me want to quit. I have done some good things recently, like nerfing the Primal shotgun and uh, actually buffing the makeshift. You know, things that are really good for the, for the community, but this performance lag thing really needs to be fixed in stacked lobbies. I don't know how it's going to be in the cash cup i have no idea but i know in fncs it's going to be a problem so hopefully it's not that bad um i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see how it is and hopefully we don't really see any more big creators and uh streamers and pro players end up leaving because truthfully that's like the the heart that's a that's a huge part of the fortnite community i know there's a lot of casuals out there that love that don't really care about competitive and stuff but without competitive the game doesn't really like I don't know like it has no like for me if this game didn't have competitive it would be really hard for me to keep playing it you know what i mean it, it really would so like i really don't want to see that go i'm not saying i think it is gonna go i just don't want it to be damaged or um lose any huge significant players in the scene you know what i mean so comment down below you know kind of your thoughts on this whole entire thing like do you think it's a little crazy that once again we're in ourselves we got ourselves into another hashtag fix fortnite situation yet again or do you think that this is somewhat warranted and you think that, you know, maybe Fortnite should kind of figure out their servers, even though I, I think it's unfair to say that they haven't been trying. I think we just need to give them a little bit more time to optimize this season because it's a brand new season. And I don't know, I, I guess we just have to wait and see. Also, if you made it this far in the video for whatever reason, 
comment down below ye i want to see how many people actually made it this far in the video oh and also if you made it this far just drop a like i mean hey it's free wow dude Got a guy here. We got some guys over here. Oh my. Nah, I'm not going to lose this. All right, GG's. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know, like I said, what you guys think of the whole fixed Fortnite situation down in the comments below. Really appreciate you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to use code Kiwis in the item shop when buying anything. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Kiwis, and I'm out. Peace.